Lola, was this man one of Val's victims? Yes! Was his head one of the ones that Val showed me? Oh my god! Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. Subscribe. Subscribe. I am here with Jessie. Subscribe. Jessie. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> like her. Subscribe to Jessie too. Oh, she does. You. She does some awesome music and awesome. a lot of gay <laughs> shit. We're trying to get to Universal. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> we don't know where the we're, we're going down some weird stairs. <laughs> no, we're trying to find our way. We parked and we literally cannot find the Universal. <laughs> we're four times to Universal and it was just like it, like looped us in a line. circle. Goal. We're getting our steps in. Yeah, we are. We're getting our steps. Oh my god, I've been on this uh, Harry Potter ride so many times that I really cannot <gasps> I memorize. Love. Oh, do you? It's so fun. I love it. The Dementors scare me. I know. Now, wait, I, is that what they're called? Dementors? Yes. Oh, yeah, those are scary. If I saw that in person, I would freak out. Oh, 100%. They're scarier than both of our Voldemort's kind of a daddy sometimes. <laughs> yeah. No, you kind of. Wait, what? what is this? Wait. <laughs> wait, let's try this. We're lost. <laughs> okay, wait. We got somewhere. To oh, Universal. Yeah, Arrow. Let's try this. <laughs> I should have waited to take my edible. Wait, wait. I found that one. Oh, oh, look, there's pink over there. Oh my god. It looks magic. <laughs> I know. Oh my god. Demon Slayer. Nezuko. Oh, and Zenitsu. Theme park. We're getting close. We're getting close. Look how cute Jessie looks. Okay, she always looks so cute. Thank you. Unique vintage. I look boring. I'm no, you don't. I look like a little Harry Potter mom. <laughs> like the outfit and like the purse. <laughs> like, all right, kitties. We stand Harry Potter mom. More millennial energy today. <laughs> <laughs> Day in the life of a, I don't know what we are, we, TikTok, YouTuber, singer, people, <laughs> singer, crazy dancer. people. Oh my god. Beautiful. We got some dumb adventures coming. <laughs> I know it. Does Jesse want some butter beer? Butter beer? It's, it's like so close, close to your tongue. face. <laughs> my god, the skin's looking clear. Butter beer. It brings a Like both of us, we both were like, we're going the wrong I'm way. Walking, and and then we just like, subtly turned together. Like we looked like- Wait, <laughs> Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yes. Would you know how goofy like walks? Do you know how many- Yeah. Like that's what they feel like. Oh, you're recording. 
<laughs> Wait, you're so right. And he puts his neck forward, right? Yeah, he's yeah. like this, right? His neck's forward, then he does like heel toe. Like that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just got home and Drew's playing with his little helicopter my sister got him for Christmas. We're trying to do a, a obstacle course with the helicopter. So he has to make it through the ring light. <laughs> you can do it. It's hard. You can do it. <gasps> oh. Let me get situated in the <laughs> Now do it again. <laughs> do it I back. Can do you it. can do it, babe. On the way back. Oh! <laughs> you were, that was pretty good. It's so hard because it doesn't lean. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the right gyros for it. So you gotta point it, then lean it. Really? Yeah. Can I try? I think I can make it through the hoopers that too advanced for me. Just don't run into the TV because it'll crack the screen. I'll try not to. <laughs> There's no try. There's oh, only do. I hesitated. And we have. Ah, ah. You're not giving it a throttle. What are you doing? I don't know. Okay, hold on. I can do this. Hold on. Tito hates it. Babe, babe, babe. It's not going up. I think the battery's The battery's up. probably dead. <laughs> the battery's dead. Why would over. I try the battery dies? Really, Drew? You just took up the entire battery. It's my helicopter. <laughs> that's full throttle. Oh, look at Tito. Tito, what happened, Bumpy? What happened? What is that? <laughs> Luna just observes from the distance. Hi, Luna. No, he's gonna get it. <laughs> it's the toy. Oh, look at him. He's gonna get it. Oh. Here he comes. Aw, he's get it, Bubba. Get it. Wow, good job. How high can you jump? Come on, Tito. Jump higher, Bubba. You can do it. You can do it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Good morning! I haven't done a morning routine type vlog thing in a while, so I kind of want to show you guys what I've been doing every morning. I've been working out. Uh, I want to show you guys my progress. I've struggled with my weight for a long time. I was really, really skinny, and then I got bigger than I wanted to be. Um, just unhealthy. I think every body size is beautiful, but I just didn't feel like myself. I didn't feel healthy. I didn't feel strong, and I just didn't feel confident, so I wanted to to start working out just so I can feel happy, healthy, and confident. And that's all that matters. No matter what body size you are, as long as you feel those ways, that is the most important thing. But I wanna show you guys my progress. Oh my gosh. I've been working out so hard. I'm just like, I'm shocked. Like, I'll, I'll definitely share what I've been doing, but ah. Yay! A lot of people have been asking what I've been doing, so I'm gonna share that with you. So I kind of just set a schedule for myself because I work at home, so I need I need a schedule so that I could stay on track. Side note, Lola's naked right now because I washed her dress. It's still drying, but it looks a lot better. It was getting kind of dirty just because I bring her all these places and stuff, so. But I wake up in the morning, I get dressed, and I take a power bar, one of these. There's probably a lot of protein power bars. Bars. These are my favorite. These are chocolate. They just taste really good. I'm, I'm a picky eater, so I don't like stuff that doesn't taste good. I've also been drinking Celsius's. A lot of my friends are sponsored by Celsius, so they were like, hey, do you want to try one? So I tried one, and I love these. <laughs> As for my diet, I completely switched up what I eat every day. I've been eating just healthier, you know, like if I want to snack a little bit, I'll have Triscuits or I'll have turkey. I'll just have things with like low calories. Oh, hi Luna. Oh, here's Luna, hi. Are you working out with mommy? She says I work out. I 
also eat a lot of chicken and rice. It's okay to eat carbs when you're losing weight. You don't have to completely cut out carbs. Like I'm a picky ass eater. Like I don't like a lot of food. So I've been sticking to like chicken and rice. I've been eating a lot of like Luna Grill. It comes with the salad, pita bread, chicken and rice. And I totally cut out any sodas. I haven't really had sodas. I'll have one every once in a while, but I kind of just wanted to cut out as much as I could. So I drink a lot of water. Water is very important. Also the Celsius is, I just have one every day before I work out. All right, we're gonna start out with the stretch. So here we go. So we're gonna start off with the stretch, everyone. Everyone arms up and down, up and down. Stretching is important, even if you're not working out, stretch, it makes your body feel amazing. Luna always does loops whenever I'm stretching. She just does loops. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Here she comes. Yay. Head <laughs> tickle. Hey. Thank you. Oh, hi. Thank you. All right, I am stretched. Now let's go work out. I'm so excited. His name is Archie. I'm, I'm gonna vlog him. Don't worry. I'll show you guys him. Lola's dress is all shiny and clean. Woo! Lola's happy. She's chilling. I finally made it. It took like an hour, like 20 minutes. It, I mean, it's not bad, but I do miss being near my family because I have to drive so far to see them, but I'm so excited. Like hold me. <laughs> He'll lick your face. Oh thank you. Wow. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> He's still licking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, his tail's <laughs> wagging. Does he like it? I think oh, look at his tail. He likes it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is fucking great. Oh, did you talk? I did oh. Hi, mamas. Hi. No, my body never know. Another day, another vlog. We're back, and it's Jer's birthday. Oh, Happy yeah. birthday to you. And Ashley's oh, here. I'm happy. <laughs> it's Ashley. We're gonna go to Dave and Buster's, and we're gonna go have some fun. So I wanted to bring you guys with us to have some party time. Woo -woo. Yeah, it's okay. 
It's been a little bit. I have not been keeping up with this vlog because I had that whole Val situation and there's been a lot going on in my life. I have been so freaking busy, which I am so grateful for. But I do want to continue to do more vlogs. I will be doing more vlogs. I'm just trying to balance everything right now. Like, ah, I forgot the REM pod was on. Lola. I think she's saying hi. Oh my God. Lola! <laughs> so I just did a session with Lola and I forgot the freaking REM pod was on. My heart! <laughs> I was asking her because Val came back, you guys. Like, literally came back. I will explain what happened real quick. So I was editing my last podcast and I was taking a quick break from editing. Like, I shut my laptop all the way. Like this, it was completely shut. It wasn't cracked or anything. Like, it was shut. I put it down on the couch next to me and I was on my phone. I was just, like, taking a break, you know? Just, like, sitting by the window, enjoying the the fresh air just like enjoying life okay and then all of a sudden my laptop starts playing and it's the one part of the podcast where I talk about Val mind you this podcast is like 40 minutes long and we did not talk about Val for very long it was the one part where we were discussing Val in it and I just asked Lola, I'll put in what just happened. And she said that it was Val. And it was weird because right when it happened, I felt like so heavy for a second. And then like I stopped it and then it's like it left. It was so weird. It was as if she came in and then like Lola kicked her out or something. It was so strange and I just clarified that with her. So I'm gonna put in that clip. I'm gonna be asking my haunted doll if Val came back the other day. There was something really weird that happened with my laptop. Just kind of wanted to get confirmation with Lola if it was her. So let's see what she says. Lola, are you aware of what happened with my laptop the other day? <laughs> Yeah, oh no. I'm so nervous to ask. Did Val come back? She did. Did you make Val leave? Did you help get rid of her? Yes, she did. Oh, that's so creepy. Has she tried to come back before? No, so this was the first time she tried to come back. Was Val's intent to scare me? Yes. 
Ah, uh, that bitch. <laughs> we don't stand Val. Can you keep protecting me from Val and just make her leave? Thank you. Ah! I honestly don't know what else to do. I'm gonna sage again, and I don't know what else to do, guys. She just keeps trying to come back, so <sighs> I'll keep you updated. But how creepy is that? I'm gonna ask Lola a little more about Val, just because it was such a short clip, and I just want to know how we can prevent her from coming back, if there's a way... Let's figure it out. By the way, the link to the Spirit Box app I use is down below in the description. Hello. There's a man here too, and I kind of want to know who this is. It's not Lenny, it's not my spirit guide. It's like someone else. Is there a man in here right now with you? Yes. That's weird. Is this the older man that's been like watching me and Drew? No, it's a different man. Okay, that's good at least. There's this one man that's been kind of watching me and Drew and I asked Lola about him. She said he was kind of pervy, so I'm kind of glad it's not him. Is this man related to Val in any way? What? I almost heard he was murdered or something. I'm so confused as to why all this is happening right now. Lola, was this man one of Val's victims? Yes! I heard the tunnel. So just a reminder, so Val showed me all these heads aligned next to each other and they were older, the heads that she showed me. But we have this theory because all those kids went randomly missing, were never found, no trace of them. Like no one knows if they're alive, if they died, like no one knows what happened to them. But the heads she showed me were older, but what if, because sometimes spirits show you the age that they are supposed to be. Like there was this one lady, her mother came to me and I told her, I was like, there's a woman here, she's older, she's like in her 60s, I wanna say she's around like 62, 63. The woman was like, oh my gosh, she died in her 40s, but she would have been like 62, I can't remember the exact age, but she would have been that age that weekend, like that was her mom's birthday weekend and I had no idea. So she was showing me herself the age she was supposed to be. So I'm like, what if these victims were murdered at a young age, but are showing me them now, like how old they are supposed to be. There was this man with like darker hair. He was showing me himself with some facial hair, like in shorter, dark hair. It was almost black, like it was really dark, but I want to know if it's him like that. That's the one man that I keep just thinking of for some reason. Lola, does this man have dark colored hair? Yes. Was his head one of the ones that Val showed me? Oh my god! I can't breathe. This is really scaring me. Okay, maybe I could talk to this man. I'm really nervous though because I don't want to like summon Val in any way. Like, okay. If the man would like to come speak to me, can you come forward and cross the rods in my hands? Just cross one over the other. He's starting to connect with me more. I don't think he was decapitated like to his death. I don't think that's how he like died. I think he died and then he was maybe decapitated after. Yes. Cross the rods for yes and open for no. Did you die at a young age? I heard seven. This is really freaky. Were you kidnapped by someone? Were you taken away from your family? Unless this is Val like tricking me, but I honestly feel like, I don't feel like this is Val. I feel like this is a man. Can you say what your name is? The man, can you please tell me your name? I almost 
keep hearing like Bryce or something. Bruce? Is your name Bryce? No, it's not Bryce. Bruce? Is your name Bruce? Yep, I heard yep. I'm gonna look up if there's anyone named Bruce that went missing. It's not really saying their names. It's just saying that there was a bunch of children missing. So I'm gonna have to dig in more. In 1960, Bruce Crayman went missing on a camping trip when he was just steps away from his campsite. And this is under the Devil's Gate, the ghost hole. Okay, let me see. The history of Devil's Gate only gets darker from there. The dam and the hiking trails have a history of strange appearances. In 1956, Donald Lee Baker and Brenda Howard went missing from a bike ride near the dam. 13 years later, a serial killer confessed to their murders. In the following years, two more children completely vanished from the Devil's Gate. In 1957, Tommy Bowman was hiking in the area with his family and was never seen again. After rounding a corner only yards ahead of others, in 1960, Bruce Crayman went missing on a camping trip when he was just steps away from his campsite. What? Hold on. Okay, wait, wait. Let me Google Bruce Crayman. Let's see if he was ever found. No way he has dark hair like super dark hair like the hair oh my god i don't think he was ever found mac ray edwards confessed to the murders of him and all these other people but he couldn't be charged for their murders because their bodies were never found so what if he had taken credit for what val did or someone else oh my god guys okay this is crazy Crazy. That's all I could find on him though. There's not a lot on him online. Oh my god. Hold on I just heard Bruce. Bruce were those photos of you when you were younger that I was just pulling up? What? I'm just nervous if this spirit's like tricking me in some way, like pretending, because what are the freaking odds that why would one of the victims come to me? I don't understand. We'll have to look more into this. I'm just gonna give a rest here just in case it's Val tricking me in some way. <laughs> Holy shit, my phone just literally flew off my lap and played. It like started the necrophonic app. Okay, I'm gonna end this. Whoever this is, you need to leave. Please leave. We'll figure this out later. Can you please leave? I'm not kidding. My phone was sitting. It was sitting on my thigh and it literally like was pushed and it flew across underneath my table. All right, I'm gonna, yeah. Okay, I will be back. All right, I'm back. I saged and... <laughs> I think we're okay. I don't know what that was, so I will keep you guys updated on that. But what the f I'm like shocked or I don't even know what to think right now. I'm kind of scared. I can't. I kind of want Drew to come home. I'm home alone, guys. Like All right, we have had such a busy week. I forgot to do an outro. I have a really long video coming for you guys, so stay tuned. That was insane, though. Like, I don't even know what to think. I'm with Kent. Every time, it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. The trip was amazing, but I don't know if that was Bruce. I don't know if that was Val pretending to be him just to, like, like throw me off or I'm not really sure so let me know what you guys think I haven't had anything happen I also haven't been home we've been out of the country and then we came back we've been in Florida so I've been far away from home so maybe Val couldn't find me <laughs> to come back thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna do more vlogs like this mixed with paranormal I just want you guys to see more of my life I love sharing it with you make sure you guys are subscribed also hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post and I will see you guys in the next video.